Anyone can instantly look more attractive if you know how to properly edit your photos. So today, I wanna give you the exact tips that fashion photographers and wedding photographers use to make anyone look attractive and stunning on camera. And spoilers, the secret isn't to use filters or Photoshop to edit out tiny little imperfections that usually look pretty obvious and fake. So in this video, I'm going to give you a couple of simple tips that anyone can do just within a few minutes, and all of this will work on your cell phone. Let's get into it. All right guys, so let's jump right into Lightroom. I have a few photos that I wanted to show you guys today, but the one that made the most sense to talk about is actually this photo of my friend Adam here. I took it on a really basic starter camera that's about as good as a cell phone. So this way you guys can be sure that this tutorial would work for any kind of camera, any kind of cell phone. So when we look at this photo of my friend Adam, everything just kind of looks flat. There's nothing interesting about the photo. His skin looks a little too yellow, also a little bit too bright and it just looks kind of bland. So what we want to do is we want to make Adam look as attractive as possible. And the first thing we would obviously do is adjust his skin tone, make him look good in the photo. But here's where most people run into this problem, where if I adjust his skin tone, start adjusting his face, while his face might look better, it affects everything around him. It affects his hair, the background, his shirt, and it doesn't really work. So what we wanna do is we wanna create control in our image, and that's really easy to do. We're going to go all the way to the top right hand corner and we're gonna pick masking, which is the little circle. And we're going to create a mask around our subject. If you don't know what a mask is, it's basically a constraint just around specific parts of your image. As you can see here is Adam is now in color and everything around him is black and white. This way we know exactly what parts of the image we're adjusting. Now if I go in there, adjust the highlights a little bit, bring up the highlights, adjust the shadow, you can see that I'm only affecting Adam and immediately I'm able to make Adam stand out from the background. And immediately Adam looks a lot better in this photo. This is where we started and this is where we are now. He immediately looks a lot better, but the background is still just too bright and it stops Adam from standing out. So we're going to go back into our masking, click the plus sign up here, select background, and now the background is in color and Adam is in black and white because we're only adjusting the background. And what we're going to do is, we're gonna do a really simple adjustment. I'm just going to take out the exposure in the background, not by a lot, but just by 0.577, so that's like half a stop of light. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of contrast, adjust the highlights a little bit, and just like that, Adam now stands out from the background to show you guys what we had before to what we have now. It kind of looks like Adam is separated and he looks more in focus. And on top of that, I'm just going to do a slight crop to this image to really center him in. This way he is without a doubt the focal point of this image. So over here, we have a pretty good photo of Adam, but his skin tone still looks way too yellow. And skin tone is so important when it comes to looking attractive on camera because your skin is what people look at to determine if you're healthy and you're in good shape. And if you have bad skin, it makes you look unhealthy and unattractive. But let's take a quick sec because I wanna make sure your computer is protected. So I pretty much live my entire life on my laptop and cell phone, more specifically, my internet browser. It's where I do all my emails, shopping for new gear, and most importantly, that's where I run my YouTube channel from. And my browser is the most vulnerable place in my computer because it's where I store my credit cards, my address, and confidential information for companies I work with. And that makes my computer, and yours as well, a gold mine for scammers. And that's where Guardio comes in. Guardio is a really simple, straightforward browser extension that acts as a first line of defense because it works to stop any potential threats before they get a chance to infect your device, including pop-ups, phishing scam, and fake websites. And all of this works across all of your devices, laptops, cell phones, anything else you have. With real-time alerts in case of a data breach. And this is extremely important if you work for a business or you work on a team. So I highly recommend getting Guardio right now with the link in the description. You can go to guardio.io slash tech through the lens and get an affordable protection plan for only $9.99 a month. You can scan your browser for threats absolutely free. It's only a 30 second scan and you'll also get a seven day free trial with premium features such as real time threat removal. And for the people watching this video, you're also getting an additional 20% off their very affordable plans so you can protect yourself and your business. So in order to fix up his skin, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the right here, go down to HSL and color sliders, and we're going to fix up his skin. Now, most of your skin tone is either in the red, orange, and yellow. 
Most of it will be in the orange with your lips being in red and just small highlights on your face being in the yellow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adjusting the orange hue of his skin. So with that, just a small adjustment of negative 12 on the orange hue slider is making a huge difference before, after. And then I'm going to also adjust his lips a little bit and adjust the yellow on his cheek to make everything blend together. And with that, before, after. His skin looks way, way better and he looks healthy and vibrant but his skin still doesn't look great. As if you kind of zoom in, he still has some, some pimples, some dry skin here, and we want to clean all of that up to make his skin look flawless. Now, this is pretty easy to do, but it can take a little bit of practice. What you want to do is you want to go to the top of your bar right here and pick the Band-Aid icon, and this will open up three tools in one, healing, clone, and erase. And I'll show you how to use all three of them separately. First up, we're going to go into healing and then we're going to hit Z on our keyboard and it's going to zoom into Adam's face. We we're going to put the feather of this brush all the way to 100, opacity to 100, so it's very soft and very subtle. And for size, it will really depend on how big the spots that you want to take out are. If you're on a MacBook, you can use two fingers to make the uh, brush bigger or smaller. If you're on a PC, you can use the clicky wheel in the middle of your mouse, but that will make your brush bigger or smaller. I tend to go with as small as possible because I want to affect just the parts that I want to change. So I'm going to go in here, just start taking out all of his beauty marks and pimples. And just like that, Adam looks way healthier, but he still has some wrinkles on his forehead. So for that, I'm going to go into my clone stamp. Clone stamp is much better for bigger patches of your skin. And I'm just going to go in there with a small brush and take out his wrinkle. It won't be perfect, but it really doesn't have to be because you have to remember, people are gonna be looking at the whole photo, not super close up. And just in case there's some hair in the way, I recommend using the erase tool instead. This is an intelligent filter that's actually going to just intelligently look at what it's erasing and just take it right out. So I'm gonna take out his little bits of hair and with that, he looks significantly better. Just to remind you guys, we started off here and now we are here. Everything about this photo so far looks really, really good, but his skin just still looks a little too harsh, a little too dry, and it doesn't have that soft look that you want. So for that, we're going to create another filter, but this is going to be super easy and much easier than the filter we used before. Going to click back onto the filters, hit the plus sign, and this time we're going to select people. And Lightroom now is intelligent enough to figure out where the people in your photo are. I'm going to click on Adam's face and it's going to give me a ton of options. I'm going to have the option of making a face skin, body filter, eyebrows, eyes, iris, pupil, everything, hair, lips, whatever you want. Now I don't recommend getting too, too crazy with these filters, but for me, I'm going to pick face skin, um, his lips, his eyes, and hair and it's going to create a mask for all of those things. Now, one thing to know, people will look crazy when you're working with these masks because the mask is just going to highlight the part that you're working on and not the rest of the image. So they're going to look like they have makeup on or something. So I'm going to go down here to his face filter. One thing that I don't like about it is that his skin wasn't included. So I'm going to click on this filter, hit the plus sign right down here and go down to brush. And I'm also going to click auto mask. What this is going to let me do is just brush in the rest of his skin with auto mask selected. It's really hard to mess it up. It's going to stop you from going out of bounds. But with this, I now have a really good mask on his overall face. And the next part is super easy. I'm going to click the top part of this panel, go to custom, and I'm going to go to skin soften light. And it's going to just make all of his skin really, really soft. For my liking, this is a little bit too much. So what skin softening really does, it, it lowers the clarity and the texture in your skin. And while that looks good, I'm going to just lower the adjust, the amount that it's being applied. And I'm going to go to about 44, 40, somewhere in the 50s. You can just kind of eyeball it. If you hit Z, you can zoom into your image 
and just kind of go in there and eyeball it, see where, just right about where it looks good. Let me just quickly show you guys what it looks like without and with. It's really subtle, but it's just going to take the harshness out of his skin. If you guys want to do more adjustments, you can. You could go down there, remove eye bags with the healing tool, whatever you need to do to make your model or subject matter look as attractive as possible. But with that, his skin is now a little bit softer. It has a soft glow to it, but it also kind of makes his face look a little bit flatter. So on the same filter, we're going to add just a little bit of contrast to his face just so that it gives the light a little bit of shape. I'm going to lower the highlights a little bit here and I'm going to bring down the blacks just so that his face has a little bit more contrast to it. Again, this is where we started and this is where we are now. And overall, if I just had to give this photo to Adam, I think he'd be very, very happy. If you guys wanted, you guys could go in there, adjust your hair, adjust the lips, adjust the eyes, what everything you want, but I think in most cases, less is more. But I'm still not completely happy with this image because there's a few things that I can do that are pretty easy to do that are really going to make this image pop. And next up, what I wanna do is I wanna do another thing to make him stand out from the background. I'm going to go back into mass and select radial gradient. What that's going to allow me to do is make this, make a circle onto my image. And what I wanna do is I want to place it right around the focal point of my image. Here, it's, I'm going to make it fairly small and I'm going to place it right around Adam's main face just because that's what the main focus is. And if I adjust anything on this mask right now, it's going to just affect Adam's face, which obviously isn't going to look good. So I'm going to right click this mask, hit intersect with mask and click select background. This is going to just affect the background and nothing on Adam's actual face. And with this, I'm going to just raise the exposure a little bit and now I can get this really subtle halo effect around Adam. This is without and this is after. I think we can both agree that it does look better and it's really subtle and it's not something super obvious. With this, it still looks pretty good but I'm not completely satisfied. The next thing I wanna do is, I wanna add a little bit of life to this image. Just make the colors pop a little bit more. So if you wanted, you could raise the vibrance just a little bit for your main image and just bring up the colors that look desaturated to Lightroom just a little bit up. But I'm going to go a little bit beyond that and go into my color grading module. Now color grading is pretty complicated and I'm not gonna go super in depth with that. However, if you guys wanna see a color grading tutorial, let me know. I desperately want to make one, but I don't know if anyone wants to see it. So if you want to see it, let me know. But with that, I'm going to go back into color grading. Now I have three wheels here for midtones, shadows, and highlights. I just want to affect the highlights on Adam's face because I just want to give it a little bit of a pop. I like this beautiful orange light, this yellow light that we have on the side of his face. And I want to just make it feel a little bit more like a sunset. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the, this little circle at the very center of the image a little to the right. And if you grab the color circle on the outside, you can add any color you want. If you're someone that's new to color grading, I recommend just experimenting, see what looks good to you. But I'm going to just add a little bit of orange to this image just to make it feel a little bit more like a sunset. With that, I've just added a little bit more life to the image, nothing major, just something very subtle. And I'm actually not going to go into the shadows and midtones because I, again, less is more. But if you wanted, you could go into the shadows, add a bunch of blue and get like a really cool look to it. But for this tutorial, we're just gonna keep everything at zero apart from the highlights. And with that, I've got a little bit more of a sunset look to it. So with this, I'm going to go into linear gradient and just pull in a linear gradient across Adam's face. Depending on your image, it might need to be smaller or bigger but I'm going to go back into my adjustment tab here and just make the color temperature a little bit orange. And that's just going to help sell it as a bit of a sunset portrait. It's very subtle. If you take a look, it adds just a hint of orange to the back. But now if I told you I took this photo at sunset, it's a lot more believable. And by adding a little bit here, a little bit there, it helps bring the whole image together. Now, if this was my final image for Adam, I would feel very happy giving this to him. And we started off from here and we are here. And you can pretty much take these steps and apply them to any photos you're working on. And this will make anyone that you've shot look more attractive, if that's you, a model, a client, but people will look better on camera with these simple adjustments.
All right, guys, if there's anything that I did not cover, hit me up in the comments down below and I'll be sure to get back to you on how you can make people look more attractive in your photos. And if you wanna learn more about editing and cameras, also check out the Camera Boost course in the link down below. But most importantly, make sure to protect your devices, cell phones, laptops, by checking out Guardio in the link down below and Guardio Teams in the link down below. Protect your data and stay safe.